So um, that means that we need to remember that a median goes from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So we need to be able to locate the midpoints of these three sides, and then we're just going to draw the segment from the vertex to that midpoint. So that means we need the construction that uh, is a perpendicular bisector construction. So the, the uh, centroid is going to be the perpendicular bisector construction just to locate the midpoint. So from this endpoint, we make an arc. Remember that the compass has to be open more than half the length of the segment. And then from the other endpoint, the same amount of opening. And if we were going to draw the whole perpendicular bisector, we would draw down the middle like that. But since we're really just looking for the midpoint of the segment, I'm just going to make a mark, which indicates the midpoint of the segment. And then I'm drawing from the vertex to this midpoint, and that will be a median. Okay, and then I'm going to bisect the next side here. So I need to open the compass more because, again, it's got to be open more than half the length of the segment. So, arc there, from the other end point, make an arc. You can call these football markings, or you can call them Jesus fish. Okay, so this would be the whole perpendicular bisector. I really just need to mark the midpoint there. And then I'm going to go from this vertex to that opposite midpoint. And that will be the second medium. Okay, and then my third segment, I need to bisect that segment. So from this end point, I need to open my compass a little more. It's not quite long enough or quite open enough. There's an arc. From the other end point, same arc. Draw down through the middle. That'll locate the midpoint. And then we can draw between opposite vertex and that midpoint to find the last uh, median. So that point right there is the centroid. Remember, the centroid is the balancing point of the triangle, so it's always going to be inside. It also has that nice property of the one-third, two-third uh, idea. So this is one-third of its whole median, and this is two-thirds of the whole median, which makes this a one-to-two ratio or a two-to-one ratio. So for example, if this was five, this length would be double that 10, making the whole thing 15. And notice that 5 is 1 third of 15, and 10 is 2 thirds of 15. All the medians can be different lengths, so you don't have to have, if this one's 5, it doesn't necessarily mean this one's going to be 5 or that one's going to be 5. Notice also the centroid is always, is always closer to the midpoint than it is to the vertex. So the centroid on this median is closer to the midpoint of the side than it is to the vertex, and the centroid on this median is closer to the midpoint of the side than it is to this vertex.